Alright, let's keep this pain train going. We're at 3 0. Oh, excuse me. I don't know if we'll finish. We'll play a few more games. Oops. Let's do this. Well, that's something. Pretty bad hand. I think we're going to keep it. We have more. We have eight sources for mountains. Uh, so we'll probably head raw the draw, so we'll probably get there. And then that turns our deck odd. We also have the ill-god inheritance, so... Confused. Make them think we're playing Golgari. That's the genius tech. Okay, well, our opponents aren't really doing much of anything. Oh boy. Really like to see a mountain. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's pretty good. Probably Colossus. A little slow there, bud, but it's okay. Okay, well, we can't block the Azorius Knight Arbiter, so... And it's got Vigilance, huh? It's two damage per turn, that's going to be pretty tough to deal with. Play the Ilgon Inheritance. So we can start making up the deficit that this Knight Arbiter is going to make. No attacks. Next turn we can Dagger Cast our opponent. Okay. Not great, but. We'll get a two for one. We'll make two one ones, but we also have the mammoth spider, so we'll be able to shortly after this put something down to deal with the opponent. That's fine. We need to get something in play big enough that uh, we can thrash the Azorius Knight Arbiter. Close. Let's play out our Mammoth Spider. See if they have removal for it. Well, we can't kill them, which is pretty bad news. Cause that's a real clock for us. We can flame rays or flames of the rays pour at some point. I think we'll just play out our th uh, let's play out clamor shaman first. We'll give it 
give it haste. Let's uh, let's put some pressure on them. So they can hit us for three, but we can hit them for three. Submarine judgment, sure. So I guess I got at least two damage through this time. Throw that down. So we'll start drawing two so we can hopefully get an answer pretty quick here. Mm -hmm. Let's play the forest. Play the Soraform hybrid. So we can grow this. It makes it a great thing to use with Thrash. Oh, that's a good Flames of the Rays Boar target. It's really going to turn things around for us. Why not attack with those? Weird. Okay. Oh, ping them on our end step. This feels pretty good now. Um, so we'll draw land. Hmm. I just realized that none of our creatures trigger the secondary effect of the raise board, which we want. So I think actually what we're going to do is we're going to attack with the sore form hybrid. And then maybe, depending on how they block, we can blow them out. Or, you know, we'll just trade one, pump it, and then we'll thrash the spawn of mayhem. Okay, so we remove an attacker of theirs, and then we will deal six to the spawn of mayhem. So, they can only send two damage through, and we're healing a fair bit. So, we're in a pretty good position now. Sure. Go ahead and we'll full swing. So unless I have a counter spell, I'll clear the mind for this. This is gonna board wipe them and probably at that point where if this resolves, we will pretty Pretty much locked down this game. Alright. Board wipe them. They're dead on board, pretty much. Yeah, okay. Good game. That was a lot closer than the other ones. Kind of had a bad hand of, of lands, so naturally a bit slower, but we got there. Four wins, 4-0. Doing pretty well. It's kind of exciting. All right, thruple. Oh my gosh. It's the exact same situation. And we go first this time. Um, 
I think we'll keep it again. It's got a pretty decent hand. If we hit a, if we hit like a, if we hit a mountain, like this hand is gas. Oh man, is this a gate stack, or is this that was just something? Oh, Whew. sick, dude. Is it a gate stack or are they just playing gruel as well? Okay, it seems like they're just playing gruel. Territorial boar. Man. Becomes a 3 3 with vigilance. Crazy. <laughs> it's not all that exciting of a of a card. Pretty pretty meager payoff for like playing a creature with four power. They've kind of uh, messed around with Cruel doing that sort of thing, and uh, I like it as an idea, but, you know, Ferocious already exists, and they've had better Ferocious payoffs, I feel like. Just strange. Very curious. Alright, we're going to play Storform Hybrid. This card is really great. Like a 2-mana two 2-2 two -two that in the late game becomes like a 6-6, six -six, like... Dang. Really strong common. And the fact that it becomes a 6 6 as like a threat of activation is also just incredible. Alright, time to see who's, who's stronger Gruel or Gruel Splashing Black. So far, our opponent hasn't really done too much. They're not really doing much still. Uh, I want to save the Colossus for a more intense moment if possible. So I think I'll just attack with the 3-3 for now. I think I win the late game probably based on how good my tech is at it, but like... Oh... Uh, the Rubble Belt Recluse. Well, the Rubble Belt Recluse attacking into the, the Rampaging Redhorn with the Colossus doesn't do it. But also, we're kind of like in a place where we can take the aggressive tact, so I'm kind of thinking we might just swing in with uh, with these two. Maybe even these three. No, I'll keep the sword form hybrid around. Yeah. So... Sure. So the Rubble Belt Runner still dies, but the Recluse does as well, and we push through. Two damage. I'm just playing another Soraform Hybrid. Get another one of these very powerful creatures out there. You know, we get our sixth mana. Having two of these is great, because, you know, if they only have one creature and they block, whole. Oh. Well, let's flip the script. Let's start a... Let's play a card that's putting them on a pretty serious clock. They can spend their... It takes 8 mana to make that a 9-9 nine -nine that can attack. Ooh, Gate Colossus. Ooh, okay, well. We're going to play Theater of Horrors, and we are going to play Feral Maka, and we're just going to try and weather this out. See if we can't get them low enough that we can just kind of crush them. Okay, so this is like a Gates, Teamer Gates thing. Teamer tends to be like the one of the better decks to play Gates, I noticed. Okay. 
Okay, so we have access to Dagger Caster if we want it. Doesn't really give us much. Play Bull Bullrack Clan Crusher, we can double lock the Gate Colossus. I mean, at 4 0, I'm not too surprised that this person's deck actually really gets there. Oh no. So I guess we won't be double blocking. So I'm going to turn that into 9 8 attack, but it doesn't have anything else going for it. So I'll pretty happily trade the 4 4, and I'll chump. Or we are at six. It's not good. Savage Smash doesn't do anything. We're really close to lethal here. Like, we could do 8 damage this turn. Gosh. It's heartbreaking. Shoot, looks like we're going to lose this one. Opponent just got... Just got there with their deck. So we're going to pass the blockers. Which means we got to turn this into a 6-6 six, six so we can actually block the gate classes. we got to do this and this. It's not good. just not enough. If we had one more life, we might be in a better spot. We could skewer them. If they had one... Yeah. We can skewer them and we can play a dagger caster, but that still gets through. We can't flames and skewer, but that doesn't even do eight damage anyways. I think that's just it. Pretty rough draws on our end, uh, most certainly, but our opponent's deck it seems pretty baller. place to be. Play one more, I think, before I call it. Those are two pretty short games. I know that we are splashing three black sources, but man, it feels like our lands have always been really bad this game, to start, at least. Like, our opening hands have never been, like, really smooth. It's very strange. Yeah, this is pretty good. Play Gilgate on one, we have all our colors. Play this on three, give it a haste to bin the other one if we need to. Maybe we won't bin it because we got two five drops. This seems fine. This format seems fairly slow and grindy, so.
Okay. Give it haste. Kind of happy to make this trade. I can discard this swamp. We only need one black source. There are only two black spells in the deck, so we're never gonna probably we're not probably gonna be in a situation where we want to cast both on the same turn. That'd be quite something. Huh. Well, it does read May. I'm going to decline. I think all of these are fine. It's not, you know, I can't guarantee that what I get next turn is better. Dagger caster. Oof. Uh, in response, I'm going to make the Burning Tree Vandal fight the Gravelhide Goblins, so at least I can uh, not just get two for one. Alright, pretty decent. Let's uh, we'll give it haste so that we can apply some pressure. I know we have these two things that care about counters. Wow. Huh. That's neat. Tap. We have 12 mana, as long as it's creatures. Let's play out our ill-gotten inheritance. They can't cast non-creature spells, so... We know that everything they do is going to be super, you know, on the up and up. <laughs> They're not going to do anything tricky or anything. So, Nikia might actually work out for us in that sense. Because until they play a creature that... That we just can't really deal with. Mm. It is something, but I can also just scorch mark the clan guild mage so I can still block. So. I feel pretty good about that. Just keep letting them uh, cast creatures. Yeah, they, they don't really have a way to deal with that clock and the key is pretty good but it, it gave us really good information because we knew that nothing they could do was would be outside of just creatures or activated abilities so we could play that we could play really greedy there because we knew that there was not going to be any you know combat tricks or removal spells coming down to blow us out or anything we just kind of were like well we can block everything on their board just sit there and let the Ilgon inheritance take them out. Uh, 
Okay, oh, I was complaining long enough. This is pretty good. You get Rubble Belt's Runner out on time. We got some lower cost cards. Alright, so we got White. So is it Orzov or is it Azorius? Play a mountain, play up the 3-3, three, 3-3 three. Three, three pairs really well against their board right now. It's a weird attack, but... let the damage through. I want to have the ability to Titanic Brawl in response to some shenanigans they might try and pull on me. time we will block you. So I'm assuming they have... Oh. It's a bluff. <laughs> Good bluff from the opponent. <laughs> we let four damage through. Wow. Pretty smart. Okay. Response to that will Titanic Brawl, so we will two for one them. Oh. Well, so I guess we went even there at least. Play with the Feral Maka. We got two tricks out of their hand. An interesting deck. Not sure what to think of it. Is this like an Azorius aggro deck or what? Anyways, uh, play Dagger Caster because it kills the Sage's Row Savant, so pretty strong, and I think they want this impassioned order to keep their health up, but I'm happy to trade my 2-2 for their strictly better 2-2, especially because I got the 2-3 back on blocks right now. I got black here too, okay. Chillbringer, that's an excellent card. Definitely a target worth um, skewering. So we'll probably cast, yeah, we'll probably go ahead and play our other Dagger Caster, and then we can Chillbringer, our opponent. Sorry. Skewer, our Chillbringer. Our opponent's Chillbringer. So, go ahead and do that. I suppose the optimal play actually was to attack with the Feral Maka in case they offered the trade. Um, another flying three mana creature. Well, I'm running out of options. Like, I don't have good ways to deal with flying creatures. Hmm. Might lose this game, too. It's this weird Esper aggro deck. Okay. Oh, of course. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I say we um, take a really aggressive approach. Because we're definitely going to lose if we just dirtle around. So. Okay, all right, well, another L, unfortunately. That weird, it's weird Hesper aggro. Too good. That's unfortunate. I sure hope we don't go 4-3. The deck feels much stronger than 4-3. Um, it would be a real pain if if we kind of scrubbed out. Um, I think this is, oh, no, we're at 5. Well, he's right at 5. I mean, still. I think we could probably get a win or two more out of this deck. Feels quite strong. Uh, anyways, I'm going to leave the finishing of this draft to a part three. Because uh, it's uh, getting a little late and I want to get to bed soon. Because i got to study and keep my brain fresh or I will fail out of my classes. Um, so, until next time.